main important thing is it's not the kid's fault. Exactly. You don't the like the mother. Didn't ask to be here. Nobody, your kid didn't say, "Hey, dad, I'm ready to come into the world." Right. Now. Just like you didn't. Nobody, nobody on this planet said that. You should not take anything out on your child, regardless of how old, how whatever they are. Yep. Guess why I'm so excited? Cause she about to file some charges. She's about to file some charges. So I'm on my way right now to file an abandonment warrant on my ex because of the lack of communication. And ever since those text, ugly text messages that he sent me, he feels like he doesn't have to pay me anything for his kids. Like he just disappeared completely. So, we're going to go and do a child abandonment warrant on him to see if he cannot straighten his act up. Because I am not chasing a 40-year-old. It's not happening. And I refuse. And it's not going down. And I refuse, refuse to continue to chase after a 40-year-old man. It's just not going down. I don't have time for that. I got five kids. I don't need six. So, with that being said... We are just going to go up here real quick and I decided to take you guys along with me because I've never done anything remotely close to this. I've never even thought about putting this man on child support. So, you act like an ass, you get treated like one. Alright, so I went to uh, the wrong place the first time and they told me to come here. So now I am here. I don't know if you guys can see up there, right over there. So I'm gonna run in here and see what I can do. Y'all wouldn't even believe it if I told y'all. But good thing there's a camera here. Oh my goodness, third time's a charm. So I had to go to the juvenile court, superior court, and now I am at the jail. So. If you're interested to know if you have to file a child abandonment warrant on your ex who's not taking care of your baby, you need to go to the jailhouse because the other courts are not it. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can get this done and then I will let you guys know what happened. So I am completed guys. Everything's completed. I'm so happy right now because your girl finally got it done. I finally got it done. It's like 1230 now. I thought I left my house at like 10 something this morning, but I got it done. It is filed. I spoke to the judge already. I didn't even think that I was going to speak to the judge. I, like I said, don't know anything about this. So I went in, I filled out the paperwork and then um, I sat and I waited and I talked to the judge and the judge literally signed off on it and was like, we got a court date on the 26th. They're gonna mail him out some stuff to his house and see you in court. Hey, hey, I just have to get my, uh, my tool downstairs and close this little part up. Y'all see this? My hands are so freaking big though, it's kind of difficult. When my mom passed away, I ordered this off of Amazon and I put her, um, some of her ashes inside of the cross. It's a um, cremation necklace. And I used to wear it all the time and then it like snapped on me. Or I think, no, my mom pulled it. He grabbed my chain from my neck when he was like maybe six seven months and that's how long ago like I haven't been able to wear this so yeah I need my little, my little pincers from downstairs this shit ain't gonna help cause I gotta close that up right there so it won't come off again okay okay let me see yeah I'm probably gonna move this and put this in the door oh man it's so big man. it's not it's, you want to switch? You can switch sides of the bed with me if you want. So, hopefully this is clear. But it comes, so you just turn it, it opens like this. It opens at the very top. 
And um, if you look very closely, because I'm not going to take it all the way out, but it's just a little screw and then her shavings are on the inside of here, her ashes. And it came with a little tool that, um, you know, that you just helps push it down. You showing him your little uh, coat carrier? Leave me alone. Her shit was savage, though. Who? In that movie? Yeah, Cruel Intentions. Cruel Intentions. Yeah, that didn't work. I really wish I had one that big. I'll put a picture up if y'all don't know what we're talking about. She had one on her neck, but she had coke in hers. And all she had to do was just pull it up. And just right back, right back so down. We, and, um, yep. All the time. But my, um, yeah, I would use it and put my mom's ashes in it. That was big. Hers was nice. Talking about. It's not the teacher lying about this. Yeah, the world. It. It's the government. It's the government that that hides things. Yeah, mommy, mommy. So the teacher is only doing her job because she's mommy, listening to what the government is telling her to do. Mommy, and I wish that I could go past that little. Uh, the ice wall. <laughs> I want to see what's really behind this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're eating dinner right now. I can just go with a food. A plane. They finally stopped doing work today, huh? They went home. All the contractors were out here taking over my street. Mm-mm. Not but, anymore. But guess what? I see a lot of kids and it's so cold and they don't even have jackets. I guess they don't care about getting sick or their parents don't. Yum, yum. I like the... It smells good, mommy. Is it? Okay. Love that hot sauce, though. Man, this tea is so bomb. I have to come get more. That's sweet tea and lemonade mixed. Oh, but it's so good. It's so good. I shouldn't be drinking it. That's why I got this whole pooch now, y'all. Man, all my hard work is it's just going, going in, man. Candy and sweet tea. Yes. Cricket told me. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed your movie night. It is not, yeah, you had two movies back to back. So let's get you all set up and back to your rooms. It's time for bed. It's like 11 o'clock. It's after 11 already. Look, Mommy. Look what I'm doing. I see you over there doing what uh, we were doing earlier. This boy and these toys. Yeah, I know. Put my babies to bed. Kaden and Mama are tapped out already, so. Yeah, the both of y'all go ahead and use the bathroom. Everybody's asleep. Baby will be home soon, so. Just enjoying my little um, few seconds I got to myself. That was a loud car. So I'm probably just going to start a vlog, start editing one until um, he walks in the door. He's off for the next three days and we have a um, eye appointment. Brooklyn needs to get fitted for some glasses on Monday. So yay. We'll see you guys on our next video. Love you guys.
got me fucked up. And that's what I'm saying, though. You, I have never been a woman to, to just keep a man from their kid. I've mm -hmm. never been one of those shasty women. Oh, we're not together? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hold this kid against you? No, please yeah. come get him. Can I get <laughs> some time to myself? Like, you don't understand how hard it is to be a single mother. Yeah. So, if you Damn want boy. to come get me a break, I would appreciate it. I ain't holding this kid against you. Mm -hmm. I'm not holding him from you. And that's how he be talking. Here, like, please. Talk like and I... I have Keeping plenty, right, that's what, I, exactly. I have so that's, many text messages that states different. Yeah, like, not that, holding them against their will. Like, by all means, come and get them whenever you want to. I have text messages that I'm begging and pleading. Yeah, your children, my Can dear. you like, please we come? We should not have to tell you to come pick up your own children. Exactly. We should not have to tell you what your children need for their daily life or for school or et cetera, et cetera. We shouldn't have to tell you their size and shoe, their clothes, yeah, we anything. Have to tell you what they like, what you gotta look for, when when they come to your house. Like, what the fuck? I shouldn't have to pack a bag and send clothes over every time they go. And I gotta remember- check for all the clothes when they come back. And rewash them because your house- Smell uh, like piss and cigarettes. Oof. It's like a fucking hobo den. <laughs> it really does. A whole bunch of hobos just, and just I, in one fucking section. And at one together. point, I used to grocery shop and have to provide food to this man for them to stay for a couple of days. Yeah, those days were lovely. But I am a terrible mother and I hold my kids. I could never... Could never be that type of person. Gotta send them over there with fucking fifty dollars worth of food just just so they eat. Cause when they come back, they're gonna be like, "Oh, we maybe ate once. He gave us breakfast. He gave us a waffle and a steak." Or we walked to the convenience store. Yeah, like and Did bought a frozen steak out of the deep freezer next to the popsicles, like. Like, well, what did you, what did you eat? Go uh, grocery shopping at a fucking gas station, dude. What Fuck did you, here, what did you, now I'll be like, what did you, um, you know, did you guys brush your teeth or take a bath? Well, I brushed my teeth, Makai didn't brush his. Yeah. No, you didn't. Uh, so neither one of y'all took a bath? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what did y'all do? Nothing. Just sat on the couch and watched daddy play the game. Then he went to work. Left us here. <clears throat> Pretty much. So, yeah. The saga continues. It really does. It really, truly does. It but continue. I'm just, I, I don't get it. Like, I could never be, it, like, it's just, I could never just do that to a kid. Because, like yeah. I said, that's it's half of you regardless of anything at the end of the day. And plus, and another <laughs> main important thing is it's not the kid's fault. Exactly. You your don't like the didn't mother. Ask to be here. Nobody, your kid didn't say, "Hey, Dad, I'm ready to come into the world." Right. Now. Just like you didn't. Nobody, nobody on this planet said that. So you should not take anything out on your child, regardless of how old, how whatever they are. Yep. No one asked to be here. Absolutely. And nobody. and just because the parent is an ass doesn't mean that the child, child should be treated ass. as an ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has nothing to do with any of that. So I don't, I just don't get it. So you don't like me? Cool. Get it. There's a lot of men that don't like their baby mamas. Got it. Cool. Kids, but you still got to take care of your baby at the end of the day. And not having a job, but then backtracking saying, but I do have a job. I just don't want to pay you. Um, it's well, not an excuse. Basically, he's saying, I just don't want to provide for my kids. Right. Because money ain't going up. I've asked so many times, when are you coming to get them? Are Money you... is going to help take care of your children. Money ain't got shit to do with us. It swears up and down that you over here taking care of our household. So, with your little... so we can continue to take care of your, your... kids. That's right. living in our house. Right. That's where that money goes. We don't go to the mall and spend it or whatever. Yeah, because I have the flyest outfits every single day. Yeah, and a mm. nice car outside. Cool. So, what we do have, we appreciate though. Exactly. They ain't gonna knock nobody else for not having. Never, you. ever. 
Cause if anything, a lot of us know how it is to not have shit. So exactly. When you get a little something, why knock a nigga for not having nothing? Right. Because you was in his, his position at one point. Mm-hmm. Sure was. But you want to sit here and talk about things. See, God don't God don't like ugly. It's okay. Things the universe you know, comes comes back around. It it does. Her name is Karma. <clears throat> She don't play that. She is a bitch. She does not play those games at all. I, and I, I don't even have to worry about it at all. Because I already know that it's going to be handled and taken care of. Just like that. 